Welcome to the future of family driving, the Tesla Model X, the world's first all-electric SUV. Now, if you were the first family in the street to own an iPhone or an iPad, then you're probably going to be a fan of this. Model X is the car for early adopters who love the idea of going electric, but are worried about the range issue and sacrificing the practicality of an SUV. Well, you can put those worries to the back of your mind with this car because it's a full-on luxurious seven-seat SUV with a range of up to 351 miles that can be fully recharged in just 30 minutes at one of Tesla's supercharging points. The reality is that you shouldn't need to call on one of them unless you're making a long journey, as most owners will simply do their charging at home. So let's turn to practicality and start with those doors. Of course, they're showstoppers and kids in particular will love them. Turning up the school gates in this goes down very well. But they're also incredibly clever and very practical. You see, they're fitted with a series of sensors and they're double hinged, hence the falcon wing name. It basically means that they work out the best angle to open at. If you're in a tight parking space, they'll slide elegantly upwards and will stop when they need to, or will open gracefully, fully out, extended wing style if you've got more space. You do get the odd heart-stopping moment in multi-storey car parks, but they do stop automatically if they sense people or other objects in the way. If you've ever tried to squeeze your kids in and out of the back of the car in a tight space, then these doors are the answer to those problems. And in the couple of days that I've lived with Model X, I've had no complaints about how quickly they operate or how easy they are to use. And once you're in the back, you find yourself in a calm, stylish, minimalist environment. There are USB ports and cup holders, along with space for storing things under the middle row. The back row is probably best suited to the smaller members of the family or smaller adults, but the seven seat version, all of which can be heated, comes with enough Isofix child seat points to carry a small five aside team. You get two in the back, two in the middle, and you can also fit three child seats across the middle row. But as sci-fi as these incredible doors are, if you really want a glimpse of the future, you need to get in the driver's seat. And once you're in here, immediately you notice that it's so bright and minimalist and modern looking. You have this enormous panoramic windscreen. It's the largest glass windscreen in production and it arches back up over your head, opening up to the sky above. Straight away you notice there's no handbrake, there's no ignition. In fact, there are only two buttons in here. One of which opens the glove box and the other is the hazard warning lights. Now it's going to seem strange, not to mention a little bit daunting the first time you sit in here, because in Tesla's brave new world, it's all about the tech. Everything is operated from this central control panel. And when you're on the move, what you need to know is displayed here in front of you on the Audi TT cockpit style screen, and it's controlled from the steering wheel. Now the control panel at first does seem really complex, really complicated to use. So down here is the central control panel if you like. Here you've got all the info that you want about the car. You can open and close the doors. You can reconfigure the two back rows of seats exactly as you want them. And then up here at the top you've got a whole series of icons just like you have on a smartphone. You've got your actual call function as an onboard camera that you'll probably leave on quite a lot of the time. There we go, this lets you surf the net. That's your uh, consumption, you know, what rate you're getting through, battery power at. It also links to your calendar, back to sat-nav, and there you go, to music, and it comes with its own Spotify account. And what you can do is actually set your destination in, and it will work out how much charge you're going to have left at the end of that journey. And if you want to know where the nearest supercharging points are, there you go, brings them up for me. Let's select the one at Heathrow. And if I click onto that, it tells me that six of the eight stores are available and that it's there at Terminal 5. You know, it all comes together to take away a lot of the stress. And when it comes to other practicalities, we've got a couple of cup holders here, a good storage compartment down there, more cup holders. But hallelujah, I know it's a silly thing, but there's space in there to keep a small handbag in. And that is something that as a woman, I really do love. Altogether, it's just an interior that works incredibly well. 
So with no engine up front, you get extra storage space, which is actually really useful if you like to reverse into parking spaces. Um, and it also, on a safety note, acts as an impact absorbing crumple zone. Round at the back, well, the amount of space obviously depends on which configuration you go for. Although even with the seven seats, the space isn't too bad. Although the two rear seats do, at the push of a button, simply fold down flat for the times when you do need a larger load area. And hidden away under here is a little secret compartment. It's home to all the charging cables and it also has room for a rather dirty stroller. This is the 90D model, and that big battery sends power to two electric motors, one at the front, one at the back. And as you'd expect, whichever model you go for, you have a very quick car on your hands. Now, the joy of all that electric power is that it's there the second you hit the accelerator. It's just instant, particularly if you go for the P90D, when 0 to 60 takes just 3.7 seconds. 3.2 if you put it in ludicrous mode, which I promise you is a real thing. But the downside of showing off your electric prowess is that it plays havoc with your electric driving range and you will become ever so slightly obsessed with this screen down here. It's the one that monitors the impact your driving is having on the range. Now cleverly is the car gets to know your driving style in this way. The information about how and where and when you drive gets planned into your journeys and range predictions become more accurate. With those huge batteries comes weight and a low centre of gravity which actually makes the Model X feel pretty good to drive. You get very little of the body roll you often find in an SUV. But while the steering doesn't give much feedback, the electric all-wheel drive system digitally controls the power, meaning there's plenty of grip and it's there instantly. Rear visibility with this seven-seat model isn't that great. Now that's due to the solid shape of the seats and also the positioning of the back row. But you can have a constant feed from the cameras coming through here, which lets you keep an eye on everything that's going on. Now Model X already makes life easier for the driver by stripping back a lot of the hassle that comes with driving. But owners can take this one step further by opting for Tesla's advanced autopilot package, which uses a combination of cameras, sensors and radar to put the car in charge of acceleration, of braking, of steering, making it capable of even navigating you right off a motorway exit. And this is the thing that I think is so exciting about this car. It, it gives you a hint of what's going to come because you know that one day you'll receive a notification that an update is coming and Tesla will send out the software that makes this a true self-driving car. When a car maker develops something new, you usually have to wait until the next model comes out to experience it. But that's not the case with Model X. It's future-proof because when Tesla come up with something new, they just send it to you over the airwaves. Of course, all this technology doesn't come cheap and you could buy any number of luxury SUVs for less than a Model X or two Land Rover Discovery Sports and still have change. But that kind of comparison doesn't really apply here because until other car makers get their electric SUVs into the market, like Jaguar's I-Pace, there really isn't anything else like it. As I said at the beginning, welcome to the future because it's already here. If you like the idea of a seven seat luxury SUV with a plug, then watch our review of the Volvo XC90 and click to watch reviews of other SUVs. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.